There's a big compression mistake I've seen many of my students make over the last 10 years here at Cosmic Academy. The problem occurs when mastering songs that have a lot of low end. So if you're making music for the club or festivals, this video is gonna make sure you're compressing your master the right way. Moose, put three minutes on the clock. Let's go. Majority of genres inside this EDM bubble are mixed in a way where low end dominates. Kick and bass are loud as hell. And that's not a bad thing until you run that signal through a compressor. So I've dropped the compressor on my master and simply put, compressors react to the signal and lower the volume, right? Follow this red line. What is it currently reacting to? Well, it's pretty much pumping every time my kick and bass hit because they're loudest as it should. Let's just stop for a quick second though, because we have to remember what is the point of compressing on a master channel? It's to compress and react to the dynamics of my whole song, but that's not happening here. What you might be noticing is Anything that plays at the same time the kick plays is also getting compressed and reduced. And then everything off of the kick is rushing up in volume and it's creating this excessive pump that wasn't there in my original production and mix. To fix this unnecessary pump, we have to tell the compressor to look at our song in a different way. What I'll do first is click this side chain button and pretty much any compressor has this feature. We wanna locate the high pass filter. This is what controls the frequencies that my compressor will react to. So if I get rid of the low end, notice the red line is reacting to more dynamic signals in my song because we're not allowing all of that heavy sub frequency to hit the threshold first to make this compressor react before the volumes of all my other elements come into place. So this is not EQing the actual song, it's only EQing it for detection purposes, reaction purposes on my compressor. All right, it's time to show you the difference as I flip back and forth here. So what you could do is pay attention to these two things. First, visually, notice the red line that's reacting to the dynamics, and then also audibly, notice the version with the filter will sound more consistent and flat. The version without the filter is going to be very pumpy like this. So in theory, all of this should work, but that's also assuming you have a balanced mix with good low end and more importantly, the right kick. If you feel like you've been struggling to find the right kick and good kicks, check out this video I have on screen right now. I'm gonna help you solve that problem, which will only make your master sound better.